Mathematics Understanding Numbers Part 1 What are we going to learn today? Today we are going to learn number before and after of a given number. Write numbers in word. Identify the place and place value of given numbers. Represent given numbers in an abacus. To find the smallest and biggest numbers among a set of numbers. To order given numbers in ascending and descending orders. Okay children, now what you have to do is you have to find the numbers to fill in the blanks. To find number before, you have to subtract 1 from the next number. And to find number after, add 1 to the given number. Now try to do A, B and C on your own. Okay, these are the answers children. For A, 92, 93, there you have to find the number next, so it is CC. For B, 136, 139, last on 140. For C, 224, for that you have to use the method to find the before number. Then 227, 229. Okay, let's write numbers in word now. 99, 100, 250, 475. In the last two examples, you can see I have colored the and word in pink because it is a must. You have to use word and when we write numbers in word. Otherwise, the whole thing is wrong. Okay, children? Now, children, try to write the given numbers in word. We will check the answers in a bit. Okay? Here are the answers. 325, 786, 530, 999. Hope you use the word then. If you use that, very well done. Let's find the place and place value now. You can see a table given. There you have four columns number digit place and place value we are going to find place and place value of the number 345 you can see in the first row 5 is underlined now we are talking about number 5 place of number 5 is units so the place value remains as 5 look at the second row 4 is underlined. It is in the middle. The digit is 4. The place is tens. So, it is 40. Then look at the last row. 3 is underlined. So, 3 is in hundreds place and the place value is 300. Can you understand? Now children, it is your chance to find the place and place value of the given numbers. Please do this in your personal whiteboard. Okay. Now check your answers children. Did you get all of them correct? Well done. Let's represent numbers in an abacus. In the screen you can see an abacus with three poles. Down below you can see I have put H, T and U. They represent hundreds, tens and units. By counting the beads in each pole you can get the number. So there are five hundreds, seven tens and two units. So the number is five hundred and seventy two. Find the numbers represented by following abacuses A, B and C. The answers are four hundred and thirty two, three hundred and fifty four, five hundred and twenty three. Did you get them correct? This is the same as the abacus. Look at the example. On top you can see three boxes. That represent hundreds. Then you can see two boxes. That represent what? Tens. So the last box represent units. When we add those boxes together you get as the answer 351. Now find the numbers represented by other boxes. Can you? The answers are 470, 605, 987. They are easy, aren't they? In the pink color box, you can see three numbers given. You have to find the biggest number, the smallest number, and you have to arrange the bow numbers in ascending order, then in descending order. 
Ascending order means smallest to the biggest number and descending order means biggest to the smallest number. Can you do it? Okay, so answers are the biggest number is 987, smallest number is 293. The numbers in ascending order 293, 367 and lastly 987. You can see they are going from smallest to the biggest. Now descending order 987, 367. Lastly, 293. As you can see, those numbers are going from biggest to the smallest. Okay, children, hope you understand ascending and descending orders. Okay, now you can see three boxes in pink. Each box contains three numbers. What you have to do is, you have to form the biggest number that can be made out of above numbers in each box. And you have to arrange the numbers in ascending order. Then see the smallest number that can be made out of above numbers in each box. The same way that you did biggest number, right? Then lastly you have to do arrange the above numbers in descending order. Okay. Okay, here are the answers. A 853, 642, 974. B 642, 853, 974. C 358, 246, 479. D 479, 358. Lastly, 246. We learned the lesson understanding numbers part 1 today. I have a little challenge for you. Write down the given numbers in word on your personal whiteboard within one minute. Can you do it quickly? That is all for today children. Thank you. Have a nice day.